How's it going guys? Unfortunately, today is not a good video. We got the RX-7 back. Um, the cage is, um, oh, it's crap. I'm not happy with it. It looks horrible, but I kind of want you y'all's advice. So I'll show you the cage and y'all can tell me your opinion, you know, share it to some friends that you may or may not have that have cages or have a fabrication shop and know what it's supposed to look like or whatever. I don't know. Basically just looking for people's opinions. So share it and let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm just being too picky, but to me it looks horrible. So uh, all I can do is let you guys look at it and see what you think. So here we go. But okay, like the first thing that bugged me about the cage when I seen it, this back part is supposed to be an X. You know, like I said, this is a cage kit. He sent it to, he sent a picture to some guy he knows that bent the cage and did all that stuff. He just welded it in, which we'll go now. I paid a thousand bucks for the cage kit. He charged me $2,500 to weld the cage kit in. So that was the price. Let me know if you think that was fair. Like the first thing that bugged me was, you know, the cage we based this off of, the bar wasn't an X in the back. It wasn't three bars, just two bars, straight X. But I could even, I could live with that. But I don't understand why there's like, I'm gonna try to use the tape measure. It's gonna be kind of hard with me holding the camera, but you can kind of get an idea of how everything off. I mean, that's like right at, it's kind of hard to tell on round tubing, right at an inch. And I'm sorry for the shakiness. Like I said, this is kind of hard. I mean, it's to me, it looks like it's like a half inch. You know, it's different. I mean, I don't know. So, and look at this this sweet, beautiful weld right there. The majority of the welds I can't really say anything about. They look fairly, you know, awesome. I mean, look at that. It's like not even welded right there. And like the door bar, like there's a, like a half inch or like, I forgot what it was. We measured it the other day. But from the inside of this tube to the inside of that tube, it's like a half inch difference. Hold on, let me. Actually, this is definitely a challenge trying to record too. All right, you see we got it down there. Come back right here. That's what, 44 and 9 sixteenths, I'm guessing. Or it looks pretty close, somewhere around there. Same place. Hold on, sit you down for a second. Gotta switch hands. But the same place, same location on the tube, I and mean, look at that. It's like 45 and a half. Like, explain that one to me. I'm no fabricator, but to me that definitely seems like it's off. And like I said, you can see it. Like if you look at where the tube comes down right there, you can see it. See where the tube is right there? Run around to the other side real quick. Look how far forward it is right there. So, <laughs> I don't understand that. I don't see how that's right. And if you look right here, the gap in between the A pillar and the A pillar bar, look at that gap. There's a crazy difference. Uh oh, like right here, that's the where they put the car together. So that's the roof skin. Right there, two and a quarter. Looking through the camera, this is kind of hard. <laughs> but this over here is like, on this side, it's like three and something. So, I mean, it's, the cage is just all kind of jacked up, man. I just don't know. Yeah, so I've already measured this. Same place, right there at that seam. Look at that. Might as well say that's three inches. Yeah, look at that. Same place. Might as well say that's three inches.
and just i mean it's just everywhere you look i mean you you throw a tape measure anywhere on here and this thing is just jacked up but yeah i've only ever had you know two cars with cages in it one was the sc300 i did like a little basic just a six point cage in it turned out fine everything was even symmetrical which is the way it's supposed to be i'm assuming and the other car i bought had a cage in it which was the 300x and that cage i thought was horrible this cage is worse that one might have some butt ugly welds on it but at least it's in the car square i don't and it's i don't know yeah yeah maybe like i said maybe i'm just being picky i don't know but to me it just seems it seems ridiculous I mean, it's just like every angle you look at, this thing is like all off and crooked and just, just crap. But yeah, I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just being picky, but to me, it, it basically looks like he didn't measure anything. He was just holding tubes up and welding them in place. <sighs> but yeah, to me, that's just, I don't know. To kind of give you the backstory on this thing, I give what I thought was a friend a thousand bucks to order a cage kit because I was going to order a cage kit and weld it in myself, but when I went to order it, they jumped up like $500 on the price from when I last talked to them like a couple weeks ago. So for me, that seemed like too much. So I was hanging out with him, we we're talking about it, and you know, he was like, oh, well, I got this buddy, whatever, he makes cage kits, maybe I can, you know, help you out. His idea, his friend. Um, so he ordered the cage kit and I think it come in in like three, three months and I waited like almost two years from giving him the first initial money, you know, start money to now. And then, so in total right now, it's 3000 bucks is what I have in this cage. And when I was calling to have someone put a cage in it, that's kind of what I was getting quoted for a custom cage, 3000 to 4,500-ish is what everybody was charging. So I don't know. I'm just like totally bummed about the whole situation. I think it's horrible. Um, so I figured making a video, getting people's opinion, maybe there's something we can do to kind of fix this to where it's not so bad. I don't know. So like I said, if you have a friend that has a shop or whatever, definitely send him this video. You can message me uh, on my Instagram, rx7hunter. Um, any help any advice if i'm being overly picky if you think the cage is fine let me know so for me it just to me it's ridiculous the video is hiding a lot of stuff um and i'm sure i'm leaving stuff out uh i'm just bummed man so much time like i said I waited two years and i mean if he didn't want to do the cage kit if he didn't want to help me he should just said you know i don't have time to do it i don't want to mess with it but his idea. So I, like, I didn't go to him and ask for his help. He volunteered it. And then, like I said, first it was supposed to be like just me and him being buddies and I was gonna do all the nasty work. He was just gonna weld it because he's a better welder than me, which is what he does for a living. So I was like, sure. And then, you know, I was gonna give him some money just cause you know, nobody should work for free. And like now he's got his own shop and it's just turned into like snowballed and like the terms have changed so much. Like I said, a few months ago before he actually did the cage, I was just going to pick the cage up, pick the car up, or pick the cage or the tube material up, Jesus, and just not even do it. But uh, once I was kind of on the idea of like, I'm just going to pick it up, bro, I'm not going to mess with it. Then he kind of like seemed like he just rushed and threw it in to, to get my money, I guess. That's the way I feel, so. But anyway, I don't know. I was honestly thinking, in my head i'm not a fabricator i don't know so but it's just an idea i was thinking we could i could cut the cage loose from where it's welded to the car and just build new boxes for the cage to sit on slide the back hoop back basically get the down bars even you know where the door like maybe get the down bar like towards this area build new boxes for them and pick the cage up because it's like 
I don't I don't get why it's so far down. Like I just I don't understand that. So <sighs> yeah, in my head I was thinking if we slide the cage, slide it back, cut it loose, slide it back, redo these bars where they're straight, um, slide the cage back, pick the front of the cage up, it should angle it up to where it will actually tuck up nicer and give me more headroom. And I, like I said, I, he was sending me pictures, which is what I asked him to do, just basically tack it in and send me pictures and you know I would let him know if it's cool or whatever. He was just like burning shit in, oh, excuse me for language, and just not caring. And like, I, it just seems like every time he sent me something, there was something up with it. This is supposed to be an X. Like, there's not even supposed to be no straight bars. It's supposed to be an X. I don't know where that got lost. Um, they had pictures and reference. I'm not blaming anyone, but you know, if I paid someone to do a job, you know, the person I paid is liable, the way I look at it. It doesn't matter who bent the tube or who did what. You know, if it wasn't right, he shouldn't have done it. He shouldn't have welded it in my car. But it just, honestly, I get the feeling like he just threw this in here to get the money and be done with it. Like, so there's things I like about it. It's not all bad. But to me, it's, this is why I didn't take it to someone, you know, two years ago. I was terrified that I was going to take my car to somebody, spend $3,000, and turn up it looking like this. It's just something that doesn't work for me it's I don't fit in the car we put a seat in it and like it's ridiculous like I'm so far oh man I, I don't know man I'm just so bummed I'm just like <laughs> just rambling so I'm just really looking for opinion but like I'm bummed because like I'm like 6'3 and you know he knew that was the problem I needed the hoop back as far as I as far as we could get it I needed everything tucked out of the way <sighs> So I don't know if I just need to cut it out and just take the car to someone else. So that's what I'm saying. If you know somebody, please get them, send them the video. Um, I have no idea what to do now. But to me, it is just like, you can't tell me like why that bar is an inch and a quarter longer. That, that makes no sense. There's no reason for that. None. Like I said, this car is a mirror image right to left because they were made in left and right hand drive so it's not the car's fault you didn't offset the cage because i've never heard of anybody offsetting a cage on purpose to me it's just like he didn't he just didn't care he just like i said holding bars up and welding them in does not matter i don't know sometimes i feel like i'm just being picky and i don't know and other times i'm just freaking out because Yeah, just let me know what you think, you guys think. Um, like I said, I'm like total bummed. I don't know if I just want to cut the cage out and start over or what. I don't know what to do. So, like I said, if you know anyone that could help or anyone that has any, you know, any kind of advice, you know, if I'm being picky, you think I'm being picky, just tell me shut up. The cage is fine. I'm cool with it. Um, yeah, I'm just bummed because, you know, I waited, waited so long you know paid what, what I think is too much um, I kind of wish I sort of took it to a shop and had a custom cage put in you know two years ago so I don't know but yeah I'm going to just primer this thing just so the cage is protected um, and it'll probably be like a couple weeks before I do anything with it because I'm just so bummed I just don't want to mess with it um, but yeah, get, need to get the cage sorted out, figure out what the heck's going on, what to do, and then, you know, strip this thing and get it ready for paint. Uh, any advice? Share it to people you know they can help. Anything. Um, it's greatly appreciated. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling about it. Like I said, I'm just reaching for some, some advice, so. Let me know what you guys think think it's like really that bad or or what I'll post some pictures of other measurements and stuff like that at the end of this video but yeah just let me know oh and like I'm not even <laughs> yeah just I don't know I'm, I'm bummed and like this is just how the car come back I right, said so if you look at the other video you see how the car was when we dropped it off I right, so I took the tail lights and stuff like like that off just because I don't want them to get damaged because you know the 99 spec tail lights are very very expensive but like the cars you know Got some scratches, 
stuff that wasn't there I'm sure that's just from like the the welding leads the cars in primer anyway so they ain't no big deal but you know it is what it is that looks very deliberate that wasn't there that on the bumper wasn't there you can look on the other video and see that that wasn't there look like they smashed it into something chipped all the paint off it was already screwed up anyway so yeah like i said you can't get an idea on the video because you know you're not there but just his demeanor and the way he acted about the whole thing it just bummed me out like it's it's ridiculous like he originally had the door bars like like super high and like i was like no dude you know don't do that because like i can't get in the car because like i said i'm tall and it's not gonna work and and he was like oh you know i'm know what i'm doing blah 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 and all this stuff so i don't know anyway yeah i'm just bummed just let me know what you guys think <laughs> i'll stop rambling but appreciate you guys watching it's not gonna stop us we'll get it straightened out and uh get this thing together and rolling but yeah see you on the next one guys